Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our water meth injection and our Haltech ESP software. So when we're spraying our water meth, our goal is to increase the power output on a turbo or supercharged engine. Now we do this by going in and adding more spark timing because the meth is going to add more octane in the fuel when we're going and running boost. So we're able to increase the spark timing and then increase the power. Now we have to back off the fuel that we're spraying from our fuel injectors because the water and meth are going to take up more space in the combustion chamber. It's gonna make it a little bit richer, so we need to adjust everything so it doesn't run super rich. So when we do this, if we have a failure, if the water meth stops to spray for whatever reason, we run out of fluid, the pump goes bad, we're gonna find that the engine can be blown and we don't wanna have that. So we're gonna go in in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I implement water meth injection with the Haltech and having a bunch of fail-safe strategies as well as how you can tune it and be able to run your normal VE and spark timing tables when it's off. And then when you turn it on, it's gonna have compensation tables that are going to kick in and work and then you can tune in conjunction with that. So if you happen to turn off the water meth, it's not gonna be affecting anything from your main VE and spark timing table and your engine will run normally. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check it out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our water meth injection and our Haltech ESP software. We're going to be finding we have a ton of flexibility in this software and we can characterize when we're spraying the meth injection for fuel and ignition timing and for boost. So we're able to build in some fail-safe strategies as well as tune our fuel and ignition timing properly based on when this it's spraying or not spraying. So let's take a look at some things so we can figure out how to set everything up. Now the very first thing we need to understand or we need to kind of consider here is what kind of meth injection kit we're using. Now I'm going to be going through this video using the AM meth injection kit for the demonstration. Um, I personally find that these are the probably the nicest kits on the market for the price. Now there's Aqua Mist and Devil Zone and Alcohol Alky Injection. We're going to be finding all kinds of kits. There's probably another 50 of them that I'm not even mentioning. The AEM has relatively easy to source parts and the biggest selling factor for me is the actual brain controller that sprays and turns on the meth. It has the ability to send a fail-safe fault out if there's a problem. So if you have a low level condition or if the pump goes bad or if there's any kind of other problems, it's able to tell something that's going to be sending an output to that there's a problem. So we might be wiring the output from the brain controller to a light to tell us that there's a problem or in this situation with the Haltech, we can implement it into the Haltech to go in and provide a fail-safe strategy. So it can cut out the engine if we have a problem and it stops the spray. Because if we're going in and doing our tuning and we're adding more ignition timing and taking fuel out as we're having that meth spray, and then we all of a sudden shut it off because let's say it runs out of fluid, we're gonna have a blown engine. We want to avoid that. So the best way to do 